Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Stay tuned to see how I transform this outfit into something a little bit more wearable. So I started off by separating the front and the back of the dress. I took out the shoulders and the side seams and I opened any darts they had and I also removed the zipper. When I removed the zipper, I just removed the entire back seam so that the back ended up being two pieces instead of one, like the front piece. And I then ironed the pieces. I then folded the front piece in half, ensuring I have all the pockets and the seams in the same position front and back. Do the same for the back pieces. If you haven't watched my 70s wide-legged jeans video yet, then hop on over to that and check it out. I just used the same pattern that I used in that video for this video. No adjustments. So I got that pattern and I pretty much just cut it out as it is. Now right here by the crotch, I'm just going to pin and sew the area you see here. And then I'm going to snip it to where I sewed it. So that's, that's where I'm going to sew. And that's it sewn. And then I'm going to snip right here to the seam that I just sewed. Right there. Then I'm going to pin the front pieces down. You should press it if you're not lazy like me. So as you see here, it should lay like this without any spaces. Now I'm going to get that left side piece and take out the pins and ease it out by a quarter of an inch so that the left side goes under the right side a little bit. Now put back in the pins. At this point, I got the same zipper that I took out from the back and I placed it under the left side of the pants as shown. I left some seam allowance above the beginning of the zipper and pinned the rest into place and top stitched it down really close to the fold. Then I put the right side down flat and I pinned it over the left side. I flipped the entire piece over to the round side, holding the flat part and I pinned the zipper as shown and top stitched it into place. Working now with the back of the pants, I pinned and sewed the entire back seam. Then I put the back over the front with the right sides facing and I pinned the side seams and the inner seams. When that was done, I sewed everything. Now I didn't have enough fabric left on the dress for the waistband, so I got the jacket part of the outfit and I cut off the bottom of it. I took pictures so I could remember how the inside of the jacket looked before I removed the stitching. I cut a strip of fabric the measurement of my waist and 3 inches high.
Then I folded it in half and I pressed it. I attached it like you do a normal waistband. Some of my stitches didn't catch in the waistband fold, so that's why you're going to see pins here. I just ended up slip stitching those areas. I then added a hook thingy and hemmed the bottom of the pants and the pants was done. Alright, so on to the top. This is literally the laziest way to take in a jacket without removing the sleeves and having to adjust the armhole and the side seams and all that jazz. I literally do two big pleat tuck thingies along each side of the jacket and that's it. I did it at the shoulder and I smoothed it down to the hem at the front. Then I took it off and I pinned the back. I'm going to be top stitching these folds down to keep them in place so I measure them to ensure they're equal length. This is how it looks. I then pinned the hem and slip stitched it and then tried it on. I got the cuff part of the sleeve and I got a piece of elastic the measurement of above my elbow and I scooted it in the space in the cuff to create a puff look. I also wanted it to fit tighter at the waist. So I popped out the stitch, did a big pleat at the back, and then rehemmed it. This is how the puff sleeve looked. I don't know if I like it though. Danny and my mom prefers it to the oversized white sleeve look, but I think the white sleeve looks more European. So tell me which side you prefer in the comments.